Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be a better way maybe to help you trace a piece of clip art. I brought in a piece of clip art here, and as you can see, it's pretty fuzzy and pixelized. But, and this is one of those types you don't have to really convert it to a bitmap. It is a JPEG, as you can see right down here, and it's pretty low quality. But, let's go to Trace. Outline Trace and Clip Art, which I use most of the time. And let's press OK. Now, if we look at it closely, there's a lot of garbage. A lot of different colors. A lot of splotching. And if you looked at this in wireframe, so go up to View and Wireframe, you'll see all those broken segments. What a way to get around that, let's back up here, go back to view and enhance. Tell you what, let's go forward so we'll still have that unit. Now, this is still the original one. This time I'm going to trace a bitmap, outline trace, clip art, same thing. But this time I'm going to click on colors. And as you can see, we've got four colors of blue. Well, we don't need all those colors. We really want this darker blue. So let's just start deleting colors. And what it should do is delete the least amount of colors first. So now we've just got blue and white, which is good. Let's press OK. Now let's take this and let's go to View and Wireframe. Look at the difference. This still needs some cleaning up, but look at all this and this down here compared to this. Let's go back to view, enhance. Let's break that apart. Let's grab that white in his eye and take it away. And then with just a few little bit of uh, smoothing or getting rid of some nodes, let's go to no fill, right click on the hairline, go up to the shape tool, grab these nodes and just play around with them. Delete them a little bit and that already looks a lot better. You've got a few down here that you could probably get away with. Whoop, took out too many. That's one thing nice, you can always back up. So let's don't take out that last one that's giving us the curvature around his head. Go back to Fill it in with the blue, take away the hairline, and now we've got a different blue, but uh, laser engravers wouldn't use blue anyway, so let's turn them all black. And I could have done the same thing by just clicking the whole thing and turning it all black. That's going to engrave pretty good, and it's a lot better than trying to clean this up. So when you go to bitmap, Trace that bitmap, outline trace, clip art, it's, it's right here under colors. You know, you can play around and make it a little more detailed, but you're not going to get rid of those colors. So see you're here, this time it's got five, six blues. We don't need them. Let's just try two. Let's just press into and see what happens. Hit enter. So see, it's, it's giving us the predominant color. It's leaving us the two colors that are predominant. It's getting rid of those other shades of blue. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.